Sat Nam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. If you've come to this Kundalini Yoga video feeling a little bit meh, then this is the perfect Kundalini Yoga Kriya for you. It's known as creating magnetic fields to expand your inner self, and it's all about creating a real strength within us, so nothing from out there can affect. We're going to expand our energy and bring ourselves up to our best level. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good vigorous rub, and bring your prayer mudra into the heart center. Take a deep Inhale to stretch tall through the spine and keep that length as you exhale relax the shoulders away from the ears inhaling to lift through the heart and exhaling to draw the chin in towards the neck let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras if you're new to the mantras just listen in for now Aum Namam Guru Dev Namam Aum Namam Guru Dev Namam Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sat Guru Name, Siri Guru Devi Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sat Guru Name, Siri Guru Devi Name, Ad Guru Name, Jugad Guru Name, Sat Guru Name, Siri Guru Devi Name. Take a deep inhale. And holding that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga practice today, keeping you safe from injury and keeping the space that you're practicing in clear and protected. Exhaling, relaxing the hands down to the knees, Gya Mudra, just allowing those mantras to settle in the body, in the mind, bringing you into presence for your Kundalini Yoga. We're going to start with a pranayama ego eradicator, fingertips onto tops of palms, and we're plugging our thumbs up into the higher self. Nice straight arms if you can. Shoulders relaxed with a breath of fire. Breath of fire, our lovely cleansing, panting breath. If it feels a little bit too much for you today, or if it's your first time perhaps doing breath of fire, just slow it down to a long, slow, deep breath, but use your belly. And the eyes are rolled up and into the third eye point in the center of the brow. We're keeping the spine nice and long and straight. We're keeping the arms extended as if we're pinning out the edges of the auric field. And we're giving ourselves a really lovely clear out and polish up with this breath of fire. And taking a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you bring the thumb tips to touch above the head. Keep the arms straight as you now squeeze more buns. So you're squeezing anus and sex organs, pulling the navel in and driving that energy up the spine, up the arms. We're stretching the fingertips out wide now and we're bringing that energy all the way up into the fingertips and out into the auric field. Fill the space around you with this energy. Keep squeezing more buns up with the pelvic floor. And exhale. Comb your fingertips down through the auric field, bring them down to the earth beside you. And take a moment here just to ground through the fingertips as you sense your way into the auric field. Feel the expansion of energy around you. Inhaling deep. 
exhaling fully. Good, we're gonna take that energy through us now with a nice spinal flex, inhaling forward, exhaling back. The eyes closed again, rolled up and into the third eye point as you inhale forward, exhale back. Taking your own pace, moving with your breath, moving generously through the spine. So spinal flex is one of those really lovely exercises that helps to align us, to ground us. It immediately switches us out of any funk that we might be in. It's a really lovely practice just to drop into your daily routine at some point, just to bring yourself up, to bring you into alignment, to just open yourself up through the energy. A really helpful technique with your spinal flex is to keep the navel pulling in. This helps to maximize that massage on the digestive system, but it also brings support to the lower back. And as we're moving generously, we're breathing generously just to sweep out any last residues of toxicity from the body, from the chakra system, just releasing any denser energies in preparation for our Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Inhale now to the center. Hold that breath in as you squeeze more band. Again, you're pulling up through the pelvic floor, you're pulling in with the navel, and you're feeling, sensing, imagining that energy rising up the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, lift up through the crown, and exhale. Relax, release the hands to Gyan Mudra on the knees. And just take a moment here again in presence, just observing how that movement, that breath has just lit you up from the inside out. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good, now we're going to move into our Kundalini Yoga Kriya, creating magnetic fields to expand the inner self. We've got our hands nice and soft, and we're gonna to start to kind of pedal them around each other, or cycle them around each other in front of the heart center. And the eyes are closed and the breath can do whatever it wants to do, but there's real vigor in the hands here as we start to build up this prana between the hands. That's it, and as you kind of spiral the hands around each other in front of the heart center, you almost want to feel this movement kind of vibrating through the whole of your body. That's it, let the breath flow, but be sure to breathe deeply. However you're breathing, make sure you're bringing that prana in with the breath. It's life force energy. It's a healing force that we bring in through the breath, through the oxygen to nourish ourselves, to rejuvenate ourselves from the inside out. Good, keep building that energy between the hands. You're doing really well. The eyes closed, rolled up and into the third eye point, keeping the awareness between the hands to just feel, witness that energy building. Now we're gonna freeze, uh, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through Mulband, draw that energy up through the spine to the crown of the head and feel that space between the palms. <clears throat> Feel that energy building between the hands. And exhale. We're going to move straight into the next part of this Kundalini Yoga Kriya. Hands are flat now, and we're going to start to almost like we're bouncing an invisible ball with each hand, clapping down towards the floor without actually touching the floor. And again, the breath can do what it wants to do. You might want to move a little vigorously with the, uh, breathe a little vigorously with this movement. That's it, we're sending this 
balance of our electromagnetic field into the Earth. So we're creating a really lovely dynamism and balance between the Earth's electromagnetic field and our own. This can help us feel stable, balanced and grounded no matter what situation we might find ourselves in. The eyes gazing very softly down towards the earth. See so your eyes very slightly open for this one. And freeze, hover the hands just above the earth and take a deep inhale. Closing the eyes, squeezing more bond as you hold that breath in, lengthening the spine, and again, become aware of the space between your hands and the earth. Feel the buildup of prana, of energy. And exhale, relax, release the hands to the knees in Gyan Mudra. Keep your awareness in the palms. See if you can really sense that energy generating there. Good, inhaling deep, exhaling fully. Good, now we're going to deepen that uh, kind of balance between the Earth's electromagnetic field and our own. Imagine that you're on a spinulator and you're going to start to bounce the hips up and down off the floor. And again, the breath does what it wants to do, but you keep that movement going very vigorously bouncing through the hips. And if this is a little bit too challenging, you might want to bend your knees a little bit just to help you as you build up that strength. Eyes closed, rolled up and into third eye point as you bounce, bounce, bounce. Get that massage from the base of the spine all the way up to the shoulders. Good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Get that spine moving all the way from the hips to the shoulders. Keep bouncing it, keep bouncing up and down. Get that real vigorous massage and movement of energy through the body. Feel it all the way along the spine as you ground the spine with the earth. Keep it going, keep it going, we're nearly there. Let the heat build, you're doing really well. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And come to uh, lying flat on the back, deep inhale. And exhale fully. And now just Relax and release, expand yourself out. Allow yourself to be held by the earth. Now that we've forged this really lovely, stabilizing, grounding connection with Mother Earth, let's allow ourselves to sink into her, to feel her support. Inhaling deep, exhaling fully. Good, now we're going to stay on our back and we're gonna continue working with our electromagnetic field. This time we're going to lift our hips up off the floor, keep the heels on the floor. If that's too strong, you need to bend the knees a little to do so, do the, uh, bend the knees as much as you need to, perhaps even hiking your heels into the floor. We're going to start to clap the hands together without clapping the hands together. So you're clapping, 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 clapping without clapping. <laughs> and the eyes are closed and the breath is doing whatever it wants to do. Remember, you can always bend the knees. You can always push your heels a little deeper into the floor, get grounded into the heels, or bring the soles of the feet to the floor, whatever you need to do to just keep those hips off the floor as you clap the hands in front of the heart. That's it, you're doing really well. Keep lifting the eyes closed, rolled up and into third eye point. We're nearly there, 10 more seconds. Hold on, keep building that energy. And taking a deep inhale, freeze. Hold that breath, squeeze more bond now. And exhale, we're going to bring our hands onto our face. You're staying on your back, hips relaxed down to the earth. And we're going to start to make little circles of our hands over our cheeks and our eyes. And you want the edges of your hands to kind of brush the edges of your nose. 
And again, we let the breath do what it wants to do. The rest of the body is nice and relaxed on the earth. As you gently massage the face, you're bringing all that lovely prana that you've generated, that lovely field of energy that you've generated in the hands, very healing energy to the face, to all of our senses, so we can see more clearly, taste, smell, hear more clearly, touch more sensitively. That's it, let yourself relax as you just massage the face. making sure that the edges of the pinky fingers brush the edges of the nose or brush the sides of the nose. Keeping the body really relaxed. And bringing your hands to the face, take a deep inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze more bun, really feeling the heat from your palms moving into the face, into your eyes, into the muscles of the face, into the brain, into the skull. And we'll exhale and we'll relax the hands down to the knees with the palms face up and we'll just rest here for a moment. Feeling the sensations, perhaps in the face, Perhaps you can feel the sensations in the palms. Once again, allowing yourself to reconnect with that sensation of heaviness in the body. As you drop down to Mother Earth, you relax down into her. Feeling that beautiful support beneath you. Aware of any sensations on the skin or inside the body. Present with all of it. Inhaling deep, exhaling fully. Good, now we're going to remain relaxed on our back, but we've got our hands in fists, and we're going to start to do like a King Kong kind of motion towards our chest, as if we're beating our chest, but again, without actually touching the chest. So again, we let the breath do what it wants to do, and this is a very powerful movement, staying relaxed on the back as you Bring alternate fists into the chest as if you're beating your chest. That's it. Eyes closed, rolled up and into third eye point, and you can go at your own pace, take it slow, take it fast, however you feel to do this practice. Heavy, vigorous pumping of the fists towards the chest without actually touching the chest. That's it, you're doing really well, stay with it. Great for the lymph glads, this one, as well as building those electromagnetic fields. Building the energy within us so we can withstand whatever pressure comes from without. And freeze wherever you are, take a deep inhale. Hold that breath in, squeeze more bond, consolidate, squeeze the fist, consolidate, and squeeze every muscle of the body, squeeze, consolidate. Exhale now, relax your hands down onto the chest, nice and comfortably, so your upper arms are resting on the earth. And we're going to be chanting a mantra, Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. With the eyes closed, soft on the earth. Sad. 
Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Sing. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Chant. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji. Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru, Wahe Guru Ji. Take a deep inhale. Hold the breath in. Again, squeezing more bond, consolidating the vibrations of this mantra in every cell of your being, bringing you into your truth, your light, your strength. And exhale, relax and release that breath. Inhale, bring the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the knees, give yourself a rock from side to side. And then bring palms of hands together, soles of feet together. Give them a good, vigorous rub. Bring yourself back into your body. And tucking hands into creases behind knees, rock forwards and back, up and down along the spine a few times until you come all the way up to sitting tall with the hands in Gyan Mudra on the knees. The spine long, the crown of the head reaching up to the sky, the sit bones grounded firmly into the earth. And let's bring our palms together. We'll close our practice by chanting Sat Nam, truth is my name. Deep inhale to chant. Sat Nam. Bowing chin to chest, offering gratitude to body, mind and breath for bringing you to this Kundalini Yoga practice today and beaming that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go. Sat Nam, I'm Yogi Gems. I hope you enjoyed this Kundalini Yoga Kriya for creating magnetic fields to expand our inner energy. If you liked it, please do uh, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more, please do subscribe. And of course, my huge gratitude always goes out to those who support me on Coffee and through the YouTube Super Thanks. Thank you so much for your support. It means so much to me. Satnam. Lots of love to you all. Have a lovely day.